What's up, YouTube? Ryan Breton here. Uh, I'm going to give you guys a little uh, demonstration of VMware Fusion 3. And uh, kind of check out Windows 7 while we're at it, too, I guess. Now, um, yeah, VMware Fusion 3 is a... 3 is the new version they just came out with. Supposedly, it's way better and yada yada. I just heard that uh, Parallels 5 came out, and supposedly that's just as good. Um, it's all preference. They both do the same thing. It allows you to run a virtual uh, machine of the operating system of your choice on your Mac desktop, and I'll show you how that's done. Uh, let me fire up... Uh, VMware Fusion 3 here. Here we go. Uh, just keep in mind, I'm using a 13 inch MacBook Pro late 2009. Um, I only have 2 gigs of RAM installed right now, and it works pretty good, surprisingly, with only 2 gigs of RAM. And, um, yeah, it's a 2.26 gigahertz processor. Now, if I had 4 gigs of RAM, 2 dedicated to the Windows machine, 2 dedicated to the Mac, uh, I'd probably run a lot better. Uh, this takes a good minute or two, maybe even three, uh, considering that I'm running the uh, screen recording software uh, to start up. So, I'll get right back to you guys. We're back. Uh, took a good minute or two um, for this to uh, get going. Still not completely booted yet, but uh, Microsoft is on its way. Come on, Bill, don't do me dirty. I'll start her on up. Man, after using a Mac for a few months, being a lifelong Windows user, uh, I hate to say it, but once you go Mac, you'll never go back. Um, I mean, Windows 7 is definitely a step up from Vista. Definitely a step up from Vista, a uh, step up from XP, but it's not even leaps and bounds ahead of either one of them. Completely started up, and you double-click something, and still tells you to wait. Gotta love Microsoft. So here's our uh, Windows 7 desktop running on top of my uh, Mac OS. Runs perfectly, actually. Um, let's check this out. Now, like I said, I'm only running 2 gigs of RAM, and I'm running 3... Uh, pretty labor-intensive programs as we speak, so bear with me here. Okay, yeah, there you go. There's your start menu, there's your uh, spotlight-esque search box. You could search for, let's say, uh, control... Oh, look at that. pretty good. Remind you of anything, guys? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, everything works flawlessly. Internet, um, really no driver issues. I was surprised at how easily it was to get VMware Fusion 3 and Windows 7 running. Very easy. There's Internet Explorer. Gotta love it. The famous uh, Windows 7 snap, snap it to the top, boom. Oh yeah, and we got a dedicated desktop button here, you see that? Show desktop. Yep, remind you of hot corners, guys? <laughs> Bam. But yeah, it's, uh, it runs pretty good. Says it's only using seven percent of the processor. I don't know how uh, accurate that is. 
yeah, 30% of the uh, RAM usage. Uh, this is what sold me. I'll show you right here. Uh, for instance, let's uh, let's go into my Finder window here. Got to give it a second. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys how you can literally just drag and drop items from your Mac desktop right on your virtual desktop. It's It, it really boggles my mind. It's really cool how they do it. Um, let's see here. Okay, uh, I have wallpapers here. This one's perfect. Give it a second. Drop it right there. Close this out. See that? Right on my Windows desktop. And looky here. Windows, Windows. Yep. All right. Um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the basics, and uh, you get the picture. Now, when I'm done, I'm just going to shut her down as if it was a real computer. And that should do it. Now, uh, if you guys have any requests, you want to see anything done, or you want to see reviews of anything else, feel free to leave a comment on it. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, and uh, definitely rate my videos. Um, I'll be back with more uh, videos and reviews, all on how much you guys, uh, or what you guys want me to do. Alright, thank you for your time.